Today we're looking at two different modes in trading 212's web app, aggregates mode and hedging mode. So we're going to explain what these are, how they alter how the app operates, when they are activated, when you switch between one and the other, and we'll use plenty of examples to illustrate these points. So do keep watching to the end of the video so that you get a full understanding of how this all works. Hello, I'm Peter Martin with Trading212, and we add tutorials and educational videos about trading to YouTube regularly. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you get to know when we add fresh content to YouTube. Well, let's get into the detail of these two different modes. Let's talk first of all about aggregate mode. Aggregate mode basically means that you can only have one position open in any one instrument at one time. So let's quickly look at an example just to illustrate this. So let's talk about aggregate mode first. And let's say that I've taken these actions to open new positions. I bought five of the FTSE on the 30th of May, I bought another five on the 25th of June, and I bought five on the 26th of June. So in aggregate mode, first of all, what's going to happen is it's going to aggregate these positions. What I would have actually had open is long 15 at an average price of the FTSE of 7,400. And now if I sold at some later stage 10 pounds per index point of the FTSE, what it will automatically do is to net that off against this open position and it will leave me long five net at my average price that I opened of 7,400. Let's now look at using the app itself to place some positions in aggregate mode. Here we are looking at a chart of the US 30 index in the web app and I have the app set to aggregate mode. Now you can see at the bottom of the screen that I have already opened a position in the US 30 index, long $3 per index point movement, and I'm going to now add to that position. So I'm gonna right click on the chart and then select open detailed trade box, and then click on quantity. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add on $7 per index point, and I'm gonna click confirm buy. So my order has been executed. Now what we see at the bottom of the screen, in aggregate mode, that I am long 10. It's put the two positions together, it's aggregated them, and I have an average price for my whole position. So what I'm going to now demonstrate to you is what happens if I sell. So once again, let's open a detailed trade box. For my quantity, I'm going to put in $8 per point, and I'm going to sell. So let's click Confirm Sell here. That order has been executed, and what we can see is it automatically nets off against my open position so that I'm left with the remaining position of long two of the index, once again showing me at that average price um, that I dealt at. Hedging mode, in contrast, allows you to open multiple positions in the same instrument. So they, these can be uh, positions that are all in the same direction. So you could have multiple open positions uh, selling short or going long, but also allows you to open opposing positions in the same instrument. So let's just look at an example of this. So to compare and contrast hedging mode with aggregate mode, let's say that I've placed the same three trades as before. So separately I buy five of the FTSE on three occasions. Now, instead of aggregating these into one big position of long 15, these remain open as three separate positions long five. Now let's say that I sell 10, just as before, of the FTSE. Now, whereas in aggregate mode, this closed off against part of the long 15, this remains open as a separate position so that I have four open positions, three long fives, and one short 10. Overall, my exposure to the index is the same as the example we looked at in the uh, aggregate mode example. I'm overall, my exposure is just long five of the FTSE, but I do still have open these positions, and I haven't realized any profit or loss against the long positions by selling that uh, 10 of the FTSE. So let's now look at opening multiple positions in hedging mode to familiarize ourselves 
with the functionality there in the web app. Here I have the app set up in hedging mode and we can see at the bottom of the screen that I have some positions in the UK 100 index. So these are three different positions, all long five of the index that I've opened at different times. Now if this was in aggregate mode, then this would be one combined position long 15 and it would give me uh, an average price for the position as a whole. But in hedging mode, it presents these three positions separately. It presents them in the order that I opened them. Uh, the most recent position is at the top and the position I opened first is at the bottom. And this gives me the flexibility of picking and choosing which one of these I want to close. So if I uh, want to close this middle one, I can click here and it asks me, are you sure you want to close this position? I can click OK to continue or click cancel not to proceed. I don't want to proceed at this time, but you can see how that gives me some added choice about choosing which position to close and some control over what profit or loss I actually realize. Um, now, what we could also do now is to open a new position. And I'm going to open a short position in the index, short 15, and I'll click Confirm Sell. And my order is executed. And now if we just expand this window, we'll see that I have um, the three long positions running at the same time as an opposing position short 15. So my exposure to the market here is actually nothing. I don't really have a position because this uh, short position matches or uh, is equal and opposite to these long positions, but it hasn't realized any profit or loss at this time. And so we could, if we wanted to, see how things change and maybe close off one of these positions to re-establish some actual exposure to the market. But if at some later stage we decided, actually, I don't want to do that, I really, I just wanted to actually close this one off, what you can do is to double click here and then choose the netting tab here along the top. And now we can see that we've got an option to close against specific positions. So I could just close part of that 15 against one or one of these positions here or I could select multiple close. Uh, if I click confirm now, this should close off all my positions. So I've done that and I now have no open positions. So how do we actually switch between modes in the web app? Well, it's really quite easy. Let's look at doing that now. So here we are in the app in aggregate mode and we want to switch to hedging mode. Now, what we need to do first of all is to make sure that we have no open positions and no pending orders because it will only work if we have none of those. So let's click here on open positions. If we can see I have no open positions, let's click on the pending orders sign and we can see that I have no pending orders. So we're good to go. Let's go up to the top right hand corner, click on this blue CFD and select the cog icon for settings. And then we want the trading preferences option here. And we can see preferred trading mode, I've got a tick next to aggregate mode. When trading under this mode, you can only open one position with the same instrument. Every new position opened with this instrument will be combined with the first one, and the price will be averaged. And if we want to switch to hedging mode, what well, we just select here, hedging mode. When trading under this mode, you can open multiple positions for the same instrument. Every new position will be executed at a different price and will be opened as a separate position. So if I click, save here, that will implement the change. And there we go, we are now in hedging mode. So that was a look at using aggregate and hedging mode in trading 212's web app. Don't forget, you can download for free native mobile apps for both iOS and Android. And you'll find links to those in the video description. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on aggregate and hedging mode. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button and give us a like. Or why not let us know what you think on the subject by sending us a message in the comments section. We do read each one. But that's all for now from me, Peter Martin and Trading212. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.